Well, it's time to finish up another board, at least, hopefully. And we're coming back to Mega Man 3, because we still have two pieces of unfinished business here. And one of them is Sparkman. I'm not looking forward to this, but I'm looking forward to the other even less. Well, Sparkman definitely has some of my favorite music in this entire game. Which is an accomplishment, since Mega Man 3 is some fantastic music. But that's about the end of the nice things I can say about this one. This stage is just... so dull. It's full of all of these traps and obstacles that just make you stand still and wait and hesitate, and it's just not a really exciting level to play through. Typically when I play this level, I just tank hits left and right because I just want to keep moving. It's a level built around patience, but it comes across more as boredom, to be honest. Even as a kid, I was bored by this one. Just look at it visually, it, it feels incomplete, if you ask me. As though its stylistic design didn't really come together. I would rank this along the likes of uh, Hard Man and Needle Man stage, where it just feels like not much thought was put into the design. Just some basic idea of the elements and then slap them down and call it a day. Which is a shame, because I think this uh, level could have been so much more. As a kid, I never thought to actually jump over these um, garbage chunks. Don't ask me why, I would always try to take them out with a buster and then sneak through before the next one fell. Taking them out was no problem, but sneaking through without taking damage definitely was. We're gonna cheat here a little bit. Not because I can't do this section, but because <laughs> I don't want to. I have enough outtakes here, and I can't afford to risk any more. Besides, it's not like we're gonna bust your duel Sparkman or anything. Alright, we might actually have him now. Yeah! I didn't want to explain it there because I lost to him so many times, but I've basically done the opposite of what everyone's told me to do. I do let him get close to me. I don't jump under him when he gets on that upper platform. It's too hard to do, and I just can't do it reliably. So instead, I let him get close and then chase him around. And we get the Spark Shock, which is a weapon that freezes enemies, and that's it. It's really kind of useless because you can't switch to another weapon to take them out like you could with the Ice Slasher. So you just kind of freeze them in your way and I guess have a staring contest until it wears off. Yeah, it's pretty awful. But Sparkman is down and that means, yeah, he's not present right now. In fact, he's lurking in the darkness, how appropriate. But that only leaves Shadow Man. He's gonna be a motherfucking nightmare. Yeah, I... I miss Charge Man. In fact, when uh, the Megas released um, this, th their version of this song as a single uh, in anticipation of their Mega Man 3 album. This really got me excited. Prior to that, I wasn't oh, paying attention. I can do it, but I can do it about one in five times, and honestly, I don't feel like having all my outtakes there, especially since I'm not going to be using the buster on the boss anyway. Shit, why didn't I jump? I almost had him. 
Sparkman definitely does have some of my favorite music in this game, and for Mega Man, oh, Christ. <sighs> okay. It's not that it's a bad stage. There's, um... Let's see. Plenty of opportunity to kind of take your time and figure out what you're going to do before you do it. But there are a lot of varied challenges here. Ugh, that was not one of them. And since I'm not using the buster on Sparkman anyway, what's the harm? Oh god, I'm in trouble already. Yeah, that was just embarrassing. And since I'm not going to be buster dueling Sparkman anyway... Oh, and I'm not going to beat him because this is the one undodgeable thing. And since we're not going to be Buster Dueling Sparkman anyway, no harm done. Oh, fucking hell! Sparkman definitely has some of my favorite music in this game, and since this game is Mega Man 3, what was that? Alright, Sparkman, what do you got for me? Okay... Oh, fucking hell! The stage, on the other hand, is not nearly as much fun, and I didn't really want to spawn that guy, but it's not a big deal. Oh, that was. If anyone out there can prove me wrong, please, please do. And here's the undodgeable... Fuck. Alright, Sparkman. Let's hope he behaves and doesn't get me into his undodgeable area. He did. He's in the undodgeable area. Thanks, fucking Sparkman. Everything is designed to slow you down and make you take your time. That is... stupid. Alright, Sparkman, be good. Of fucking course. How many times are you going to get into this position? Ah! The strategy that I use on Sparkman is not proving reliable while the camera's rolling. Because by the time I get here, I'm so bored that I can't concentrate. But I might be able to get him. Come on. Oh! Fucking hell! Oh, uh, and of course he's undodgeable here. Great. God, this part is boring. There's a lot of waiting around in this one, and... Ah! Uh... And so, but anyway, we've completed another board. That leaves only one to go. Uh, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. I did, of course, want to gaze back over this board and apologize for two things, one being my voice, I'm quite sick as I record this, and the other, of course, being the abundance, relative abundance, of star droids on this board. Again, they had to go somewhere, and I hope the variety on the next board makes up for it. You guys can be the judge, but as far as I'm concerned, variation notwithstanding, this is a pretty good board. I'm very happy with this, especially that bottom row there. Those three Robot Masters were ones I was... <laughs> pretty nervous about. They snuck onto this board, so that gives you a good idea of what's remaining, and how I'm not looking forward to that. But let's keep our minds rooted firmly in the present for now, and talk about Sparkman. You guys thought he would take me, on average, 23 attempts before I had a successful no-damage run on camera. I don't blame you, it's a very intimidating stage. In fact, if it weren't for the music, I wouldn't have looked forward to anything about this stage at all. I thought it would take me 25 attempts. I was a little harder on myself than you guys were. 
That's because I could not for the life of me figure out how to jump under this guy reliably when he's on the center of that middle platform. He's a bastard. It's a very tight jump, and it's extremely difficult. As you saw, I found another way of fighting him. But as you also saw, he can very easily corner you. Now that did happen on camera more frequently than it happened in my practice runs, but I still kind of anticipated it. Plus there's plenty more to go wrong in this stage. But in actuality, it only took me 20 attempts. That is a huge surprise when counting up the outtakes. It felt to me like it took so many more than that. I think part of the problem is that I would make it to the boss most of the time and even make it uh, a large amount of the way through that battle with uh, Sparkman. So it really felt like it was taking longer than it was. But yeah, in reality, I actually came in under par. And I almost can't believe that. So before I close out this board, I have gotten a lot of viewers since I started doing these, so I just want to point out one more time my debt to Rome Mithril. He really laid down the format for these and also unquestionably served as my inspiration. So I don't want any newcomers who see this to think that I'm a total ripoff. Actually, I am. I'm a pretty total ripoff. But I do want you to know that I at least cop to it. So thanks, Rome. And thanks to everybody who subscribed to me since I started doing this, and of course everybody who has subscribed to me before that. I hope you continue to enjoy. Eight more episodes to go. Please, please stick around. Is that the first time I made it to the end of the song? Achievement unlocked.